Hey designers and welcome back to Design School for WordPress Beginners. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your boring old WordPress page layout from this to look like this, which is basically in the form of iMessage bubbles. So each and every paragraph will automatically be formatted in the form of a bubble. So this will basically give you a iMessage conversation view. This is particularly helpful or useful if you're having interviews with a lot of people or experts in your niche. So let's go ahead and achieve this layout using Elementor. We're doing this using Elementor Pro as Elementor Pro gives us the ability to tweak the website elements such as post layout, single page layout and so on. So I'll just go to my templates. I'll click on add new and I'll create a single post template, which I'll call iMessage bubbles. You can call it anything iMessage bubbles layout. Okay. And I'll click on create template. And in the end, I'll basically make this post show this particular design by adding a condition to the particular template. So I'll show you that in the end of the video, stay tuned. So you can pick any of the default templates and apply the method that I'm going to show you, or you can create any template from the scratch. I'll do that. So I'll select a single column layout, click on the column and I'll add few elements. And remember, I'm not styling the whole post layout. I'm just going to show you how to style your post content into iMessage bubbles. I'll show you how to style the whole post content in a different video. So here I added post title. Let me add few more elements. Post excerpt. Post title. Featured image. There's a duplicate. Let me remove this. So I didn't add an expert except here. So it's not showing up. If you did add, it will show up here. And let me add post info right underneath this. So I'll just have author info show up. And of course, the most important widget for this tutorial is this post content widget. So I'll drag it. And this is basically the content that I added to that post. And you can also preview it with any other different post. So this is the post I added and this is the content. And we're not actually editing the content, but we're changing the design itself. So this will basically be applied to any post that you have under this category. So let me show you what I mean. So once we have all that we need, the next thing that we need to do is to go to advanced and give it some padding. So I'll give padding of 1% on right and on left because I want to make this post iMessage layout responsive. So always make sure whenever you want to make something responsive, just specify that in percentages because pixels are absolute values whereas percentages take up the width of the container. So if it's a mobile, the layout will change or adapt according to the dimensions of the device. So I'm done here and I'll click on this post layout widget again. Go to custom CSS. I'll say selector. And after selector, I need to type P, which stands for paragraph. So that means the content within this particular selector. In this case, my post content. So I'll set a font size for this particular post content. So I'll just say 30, I think 20 pixels would be better. You can set the size or leave it as is. And the next thing that you need to type is selector. The entire code will be available to you at in the end of the description. You can just copy the description code and paste it and this effect will be automatically applied. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So this is a property called nth child. So what it exactly means is that whenever there's a paragraph with odd number, meaning every alternate paragraph. So this paragraph will automatically be numbered as one and this will be three. So whenever there's a paragraph of odd number, 
apply whatever code that I put in here. So that's how we're going to design the iMessage bubbles. You can see when I said color, color blue, it changed the text of every alternate paragraph into blue. So, and I said odd here, let's do the same thing for even numbered paragraphs, meaning these ones. So I'll just copy and paste this code again. And I'll say even, and I'll just say red. You can see that every even numbered paragraph two, four, six is colored as red. So whatever properties that we specify here will be applied to odd number properties here and whatever properties that we specify in here will be applied to even number paragraphs. That's what this code actually means. If you don't understand, don't worry. Whatever you change in here will be applied to odd number paragraphs, meaning one, three, five, seven, and so on. And whatever you change in here will be applied to even number paragraphs. So starting from two, four, all that. Okay. Now we want bubbles for these paragraphs. So let's set a background color for each of the bubble. So the first bubble, I want it to be a bit more subtle. So I'll just say color snow. And the second bubbles background color, I want it to be blue in order to make it look like iMessage bubbles. And I'll, of course, I'll change the text color here. I'll make it white. I think white looks better. I'll also change this one to white again, or maybe black. And the next property that I want to add is padding. This is the, the typical padding that you find in Elementor. So I'll add padding of five pixels, five pixels and five pixels. Let's change that to maybe 15 pixels. So that will add a padding to every odd numbered bubble, meaning one, three, five, and so on. Let's copy and paste the same property to even number bubbles as well. So even the even number bubbles will have that padding to make the text more readable. And the second thing that you need to do is to make the corners rounded. And the property for that is border radius. Of course, if you're familiar with Elementor, you know that. So just add a border radius to make the bubbles more rounded. And if you increase the border radius, the bubbles will become even a bit more rounded. So that's all up to you. This can take either two or three values. So I'll just copy the same border radius into this even numbered bubbles as well. So you can clearly see how the bubbles borders have changed. They're more like bubbles rather than boxes. So that's great. We're almost getting there. And the second thing is to have a margin between bubbles or basically the space between bubble. So I'll just say margin bottom and maybe I'll give a 10 pixels margin or maybe 15 pixels. That's all up to you. You can space it using this property margin bottom. And again, copy the same property into this. So all the bubbles will be evenly spaced like this. If you want to increase the margin, well, you can do it. It's all up to you. If you want to increase the space between the bubbles, you can maybe say 45 here and also 45 here. So margin bottom, that will basically be the space between the bubbles. So this is the first bubble, second bubble, third bubble and each with the space separated by 40 pixels. And the last property that we need to adjust is actually the width of each bubble. So based on your particular personal choice, you can either make each bubble 50% wide, 60% wide or 70% wide. And of course you don't have to do anything with the gray colored bubbles here. You need to position these blue colored bubbles onto the right in order to get that conversation like look.
so normally by default all the odd bubbles are normally positioned the way you want them but you want these blue colored bubbles on to the right so the thing that you need to add is called position and you should give the value as relative that means it will displace the element from its actual position by the amount that you specify here so if i say 500 pixels it will move the element onto the right by this distance by left i mean hey just add 500 pixels gap onto the left of this element meaning it will move right so if i say right it will move 500 pixels onto the right of course if i give the negative value it will go in the opposite direction you can do it that way as well but i want these bubbles onto the left and whatever value you give for the width make sure it's 100 minus that value so i want it to be at 40 percent so by that it completes the 100 percent that i actually want or you can give 30 percent and see how that's aligned so you'll have this kind of conversation and if you want this to be aligned near the edge you can say 40 percent so the width of this is 60 percent and on the left you have 40 percent meaning the 100 percent layout will be completed don't have to understand it whichever value you specify here just subtract that from 100 and that value will be the value that you might want to enter here if you want to position it at the end of this so by doing so we got this bubble like layout and this can be particularly useful if you're interviewing someone maybe an expert in your niche or seo guru or a wordpress guru or a marketing guru whatever you can add conversation like feeling to your wordpress post rather than just adding the standard boring layout so this will be your question and this will be his answer this will be your question and this will be your answer and also this can be your comment this can be his answer so use this creatively and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and before i end this video i want to tell you a few more things when you add this code make sure the only content in your wordpress is just text if you add images even images will be formatted in the form of these bubbles and that may look a bit odd so it's better not to add images in the text editor of course you can add a featured image or if you want any other image you can put images above or below this but not in the rich text content editor itself so we made this layout and let me publish it and i don't want it for all posts I want it only for the post under the category called interviews. So if I write a new post in interviews, this is the layout that I want it to be applied. So let me show you how that will look. So this data will be dynamically generated and make sure you don't add images in between the text or any other thing. Just make it pure text else whatever you add will also be formatted in the form of these bubbles keep that in mind and the code for this will be in the description down below so make sure you check that out and of course you can tweak any of the values based on your requirements so if you want to make this 70 percent you can do it and if you want to make this 70 percent do it and remember to change this to 30 percent because that will be aligned properly and also make sure how it looks on tablet and mobile devices this looks okay to me but if you want some other layout on mobile or tablet just make sure you change these values it's better not to add values in pixels because it will hard code that bubble and it will remain in the same size no matter which device you're using but if you use percentages it will adapt to the device size automatically thereby giving us this responsive design so if you go view it in the tablet it looks great even in tablet view and even in mobile view it looks great so now let me go to my wordpress dashboard and quickly compile a post to show you how this code looks or works so i'll click on add new under posts 
let me add a new post here so i'll just call it a post to test i message bubbles okay and some text here So I'll just copy and paste this. In the form of paragraphs. So I'll copy the whole paragraph now. And as I told you, don't add images in between the rich text editor. Of course you can add a featured image, but don't try to add images. It will look weird because of this code. And also don't have any space other than your paragraphs. So you can write in the form of paragraphs, but don't add any space like this one. Because even that space will be considered as paragraph by the code that we specified. So I added some code here. I mean, I added some text here and applied that design to posts which are under this category. So I have to select interviews category and let me add a featured image. maybe this one i think that looks perfect so that's okay we added a featured image and i think yes that's going to be it i'll click on publish and let's see if this layout this imessage bubble layout is applied to this or not so that post is published now let's go ahead and click on that post now so let me view that post and see how that design looks. So this is a post to test iMessage bubbles. Here's our featured image. So there we are. So that's the content. So it's working. So this is how you make your post layout look like iMessage bubbles. And it will be also great if you add a read more tag under this because user can click that and basically view a chat like conversation. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. And that's it for now. And hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.